Hello and welcome to my new video. If you're new here, hi, I'm Lex. Today we are here on Happy Home Paradise with these cuties, my favorite NPCs, Nico and Wilbur. I love that they're right here together, they're my favorites. Anyway, I have had several requests to build an HHP for a video. I have only done it in streams previously, so I'm super excited to actually build a home today in a video. How wild is that? I... Mm. If you've watched my streams, you know Quilson is my least favorite villager. The woman was too stunned to speak. Why is he here? Anyway, we're gonna we're gonna talk to Lottie and get to work today. Spending pokey is one of my passions, so let me do that really quick before we actually go to work. Look at all these cute items. We are so blessed. Thank you, Wardell. Here is Lottie. Also, several people have asked in the past where I got so many pokey, so Besides the fact that you do make more pokey as you go along, like you get 20,000 pokey per job, you can also use this like bells to pokey ABD to exchange bells for pokey every day. That's also how I keep a lot. I haven't checked the whole beach, so we're going to figure out who we want to, um, oh my god. Hans and Rasher are my two other least favorite villagers. Like, it's Quilson, then Rasher, then Hans. I'm having bad luck today. Ah! Okay, so we're gonna do Shino. Um, that what a, I was literally just thinking the other day about how badly I want to decorate for Shino. Also, we have Dom, so I'll probably decorate for him off camera, but let's get started with Shino. I figured I would do... So she just gives... Her thing is a stage for Japan. Um, or a stage to jam for Japan, and I figure the perfect island for that would probably be the bamboo one. So far, I think I've only put Pico on that one. Um, so we're gonna do that one, I think. Hi, it's voiceover Lex. Uh, it took me so long to find that island. I went through all of them. I felt like I was so confused, but found it. So here we are on the island. I'm decorating now. I'm probably going to do voiceovers for this part because it just, I don't know, I feel like I'll have to speed it up. So talking, I'll just talk too much and then I'll have to cut pieces of my dialogue out. So dialogue? My monologue? <laughs> anyway, I hope you enjoy. Just a couple of notes for this build. If you're interested in any of the custom designs you see me going through right now, I have a link in the description that you can go and click and you can see all of the different designs that I use. This Most of these will be under Lorian, but I do also have a Happy Home Paradise uh, tab for codes. So you can just glance through them if you wanna see who made all of these. And also part of this build was inspired by my friend and fellow YouTuber, Anna Carbonara Crossing. Uh, she is so talented and she recently did a build on this same island plot using the specific aspect that inspired me was her use of the paper lanterns so you'll see me add some of those as we get further into the build but just wanted to shout her out as inspiration was surprisingly difficult to place the trees for this build. I felt like it was so easy to either make it feel too sparse or too um, too cluttered with trees. So I did my best to kind of balance that out. The bamboo I think is super pretty so I was really excited to get to work with these trees because I don't often get to use them.
one of my preferences when building in HHP is to mostly use plants. I don't really use a lot of furniture. I, I find it difficult for myself to keep it from looking cluttered. So a lot of my builds are mostly natural. Really the paper lanterns are the only non-plant items in this build because I mean the, the giant bonsai trees are kind of items technically, but let's be honest, they're plants. truly wrapped up the exterior for this build so I went ahead and started the interior. These are the items that were acquired for Shino and so I did the most mature thing and decided to hide them behind partitions. Um, in order to make the partitions work I did create an accent wall with the cherry blossom trees. I don't want to hear how it doesn't fit with the exterior because we're literally in a bamboo forest and her, her interior is like oh yeah a view of the cherry blossom trees. It's fine. It's fine. This is game logic. So I just hid two of those items behind the wall because what else would I do? Um, and yeah, I kind of went for a very casual sitting room sort of aesthetic, sort of like a living room slash dining area fusion. I'm not sure. I just did whatever felt cute. So I hope you enjoy watching as I decorate this room. I think the hardest part of this build was picking a table to put between the peach chairs and then figuring out how to fill the bottom left and right corners. That's always where I struggle because I always want to place something that's tall to like take up space but then it blocks the room because when you walk in obviously you're looking at the back of the items that you've placed against that wall. So it was a whole thing. Uh, it took a lot of deliberation but I do think I settled on something pretty cute. I especially love this little stool in the center. I wanted to add some more green to kind of highlight the chair legs for the peach chairs and that stool I think just did it perfectly. I love that item. As I said, the bottom right and bottom left corners were what really caused trouble for me here at the end, but I did my best. I tried to figure out something that worked and I really liked this little shelf, the little green shelf. Didn't like the little closet.
So here we are finally coming to the end. I was trying to add some flavor, if you will, to the walls. I'm still not 100% happy with the interior, but I am not an interior decorator. I just do whatever I can. So that's how I ended it. And here is, uh, here is the little video montage showing Shino walking around in her new home. Since I opted for outdoors for the video montage, I just wanted to give a little taste of the inside now that it's finished complete so you can see the little details. Um, please don't roast me for my lack of interior design skills. Uh, if you want some real interior inspiration, I definitely recommend Miss ACNH here on YouTube. She is so talented and just a genius, but this is what I managed. <laughs> That is all I have for you all today. Thank you so much for watching to the end. Please remember to take care of yourself today. Um, thank you, Shino, for getting in the way. But please do remember to eat, drink water, take your meds, whatever you need to do to be the best you today. And here is Peaches to tell you all goodbye for now. Bye.